y'all welcome back to my channel today we are going to cook a lean and green all right if you are new to my channel my name is melissa welcome and i am an independent coach for optavia all right so on this particular video um, segment what i do is i demonstrate how to cook a lean and green i always post the recipe down in the description box with the measurements and everything according to the protocol for the five and one so if you're a if you're a current client on Optavia and you want to use this recipe, just look down in the description box and you'll get all the information you need. And this recipe actually comes right off of the Optavia app. All right, so if you are a member of Optavia, you should have that app. It's a free app downloaded. It's just Optavia. It is it is really a cool app. Uh, it's got all kinds of recipes. It has access to your account, so you can check on your orders and all the different things like that. But one of the things that I love about the recipes on there, besides the fact that they're delicious, is that they can adjust. You can adjust it. Like if you want to do six servings, you have a family of six, you're trying to fix it for. Or if you're an empty nester like me and Scott, and it's just two, then you can take it down to two. Um, you can even make a single serving. Okay. So that's a really cool thing about it. And they do, of course, all the work for us telling us what it counts for, you know, the whole thing. So we're not having to figure all that out on our own. All right. What I'm making tonight is the Greek style chicken bowl. Yep. Oh, I forgot to get something out. Hold on. Okay. So now I'm going to show you back here, all the ingredients that are going to go into this. It's a chicken dish. Now I'm having to substitute. It calls for riced zucchini. Y'all, I've... I don't know if you're supposed to do it yourself <laughs> or if you can buy it already done, but I've never heard of rice zucchini. I've never seen it. So I substituted riced broccoli, okay? So you use uh, your lettuce of choice. They suggest romaine, so that's what I'm using. Um, riced uh, zucchini, I'm using broccoli, riced cauliflower, and tomatoes. Those are your greens, okay? The lettuce and the tomato are split. You do half serving of each, that makes one. Your riced cauliflower, your riced broccoli or zucchini are your other two greens. Your protein is chicken. Your healthy fat and condiments are all in your dressing. Okay, let me show you all these yummy ingredients. Hold on. One thing that really makes this um, a time saver recipe is this right here. Um, that dog just got up on the table. Okay. It calls for, uh, the recipe says to use a rotisserie chicken. Now, I'm sure if you wanted to bake your own chicken, grilled chicken, however you want to do it, it would be fine. But this is a 20 minute meal. So they have suggested using rotisserie chicken. I am using the frozen riced veggies, okay? These have no sauce, nothing like that. I'm gonna steam them in the microwave. My dressing is gonna be made out of olive oil, lemon, fresh garlic, feta cheese and oregano okay that's the dressing now the recipe calls for low fat feta i could not find i went to two different stores could not find reduced fat feta so what i did is i got fat free feta and regular feta and i'm gonna do half and half y'all that's not legal as far as the <laughs> program goes so i'm tweaking it i'm i'm gonna be a little off Look for the low fat. If you can't find it, check with your coach and ask for their best advice. This is how I'm doing it. Hoping that kind of splits the difference. You know what I mean? I am gonna use these tomatoes. I, I, they are so pretty. I like, my, um, I like my food to look pretty. So I'm gonna use these tomatoes for the bowl. So first things I gotta do is I gotta steam this, then I gotta cut up my chicken, and then I gotta put together my dressing. And that's it. Okay, while my veggies are cooking, I am going to mix up my dressing. Um, I've already measured out my uh, tomatoes. Scott won't eat any tomatoes. And then I'll chop up the chicken, but I wanted to show you how to make the dressing. It's super, super simple and it sounds so yummy. Okay, here, here's how you do it. Okay, and remember the recipe will be in the description, so do not feel like you have to remember this, okay? So it calls for two tablespoons of lemon juice. I just squeezed two lemons. So two tablespoons of lemon juice. Just a tiny bit more, there we go. And then two teaspoons of olive oil. I always use the real light tasting olive oil, you know, so it doesn't um, have a strong flavor. All right, there's one and two, okay. That 
right? It calls for a teaspoon of oregano. That seems like an awful lot of oregano. I'm gonna do a half teaspoon, just cause Scott and I are not real big on Italian spices. So we're gonna do a half teaspoon. That still seems like a lot of oregano, but that's what it called for. One clove of garlic, mint. Nothing that smells better to me than fresh garlic. I love fresh garlic. All right, and then we need two tablespoons of the feta cheese. Remember, I'm doing a tablespoon of the fat-free and a tablespoon of the regular because I didn't have the low fat. So I know this is sketchy math, but hey, it's, it's all I can do. There we go. This is the strangest dressing I've ever seen, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All right, so our dressing is ready. Now I'm gonna cut up the chicken. almost there. I'm getting ready to put it all together. Scott has opted out of the dressing. I let him taste it and he was like, I'm new. <laughs> he didn't like it. I think it's the lemon. So he's going to have, he's going to have this, this balsamic dressing. So that'll be fine. But while I'm waiting on some of this stuff to cool off, because it is a salad and the broccoli and the cauliflower is still pretty warm. So I've measured everything out, gotten everything measured out except for the lettuce, and I'm just ready to assemble it. So it's six ounces of chicken. We each get six ounces of chicken. That's our protein. Then we each get, Scott's not having tomatoes, so he'll have a little bit more lettuce, but I'm gonna have lettuce and tomato, broccoli and cauliflower. He'll have broccoli and cauliflower. I'm gonna have this dressing for my condiments and healthy fat. He's gonna have this for his healthy fat, and he'll probably just put some salt and pepper on it for his condiments. Okay. So really super simple, you guys. It really was so easy to put together. Um, the hardest part was cutting up the chicken. And I did have to use more than one rotisserie chicken. I was really glad that I actually had a second chicken in the fridge because there's these wraps that I wanna try. <laughs> That's another recipe that I saw. And so I bought two chickens, so I'm glad I did. All right, but I wanna talk to you real quick. Um, you know, I've been doing a little bit of a mini coach's corner when I get on and do a lean and green. So this one's a micro a micro coach's corner. I just want to touch on something real quick with you guys. Um, so, I, you know, I, I've coached a few clients, more than some, less than others. And one thing that I see that happens a lot during the weight loss phase is people will, um, they start to get, I guess bored is the best way to say it, with the fuelings or this or that. And they they start really, I think that's where the fueling hacks come from. And sometimes people do it right out the gate. And that's because what you're trying to do in that situation is you're trying to make the fuelings like the foods you used to eat. You know, that's the wrong mindset, all right? It's the foods we used to eat that got us in trouble in the first place. So here's, I'm just giving you just a small little tip, all right? First of all, keep everything simple. The simpler you keep it, the better. That's why I love this new app, this Optavia app, because it, it makes it so, so simple. I didn't have to think about anything on this deal. It had it all lined out for me. Super simple. Maisie's bumping the tripod. Um, but the other piece of advice I can give you is this. Remember that the fuelings are a tool. Now the lean and green, I hope you eat like that forever. Now you will be adding things back in and transition and maintenance, you know, starchy vegetables, fruits, things like that. But I hope you always eat lots of vegetables, make sure you get your healthy fat, you know, portion control, all those things. Those are all part of the healthy habit of nutrition that you need to keep going. But the fuelings, the fuelings are a tool, okay? They are did you see her? She just jumped up on the table over there. I don't know if you saw that. Oh my gosh. So, squirrel. The fuelings are a very, very effective tool for weight loss and weight management. Don't overthink it. A lot of people, once they get in maintenance, 
they continue to eat their fuelings, not five a day, but they do incorporate them into a healthy lifestyle. Some don't, and that's okay. But while you're losing weight, they are the key ingredient, you guys. They take out all of the heavy lifting. We don't have to count, we don't have to weigh. This meal is the only one we're weighing anything on. The rest of the day, you just mix a shake, grab a bar, whatever, and move on with your day. Super, super simple. Don't overthink it, y'all. That's my advice today. Don't overthink it, keep it simple. Remember the fuelings are a tool. They're a tool, <laughs> okay? They are not meant to take, it's not supposed to taste like a milkshake from Brahms. It's just not, okay? It can still be good, it can still be yummy, but don't try to make it taste like Brahms because it's not supposed to, and it's not going to, and it doesn't need to. I love my caramel macchiato shake. I still have it every single morning. Keep it simple, you guys. Don't overthink it. All right, now let's put this yummy lean and green together and bring somebody on that y'all haven't seen in a while because I haven't done one of these in a long time. Scott, he's dying to come in and say hello. All right, let me put this together. I'll call him to dinner and we will eat up our yummy lean and green. Just gonna kinda, and the thing, the picture it showed it just kinda all the way around like that. There, whoops, that's a little too much. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna put the chicken right in the middle. Gotta be able to see the romaine. I wanna make it pretty, y'all, because I'm probably gonna take a picture of it. All right, then we're gonna do the tomatoes right down the middle. And then the broccoli on one side. Got so much food, y'all. I mean, like, seriously, that's a lot of food. And then the cauliflower on the other. Wow. And one and a half tablespoon of my dressing. Oh, God, I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. One and a half. Just kind of sprinkle it around. I don't Okay, and there's my chicken Greek, what's it called? Greek chicken bowl, something like that. What's it called? My Greek style chicken bowl. All right, Scott, you ready to eat? Sure. All right, come on. Got it. Look who I found. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah, he's out of practice. He's very <laughs> out of practice. Stand here, move here. I know. We were just taking a picture of our. Eat. We were taking a picture of our Lena Green, and I was like, "Why well, do you have to get in the frame of the camera?" <laughs> I'm like, "Do you, have you forgotten how to do this?" <laughs> he was like, "Over here." Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I was like, "Do you see the camera?" <laughs> we're having some. Look how different ours always looks so different. Mine's always so colorful. Yeah. Well, mine's lacking one color. I know, but it makes a difference. <laughs> it does. It makes a difference. Never, I don't eat Greek food. This is called Greek. I mean, but oh, come on. It's, it's, Greek. Well, it's because of the feta cheese. The who cheese? You don't have any. Oh. Well, That's in the I, dress. I'm not Greek then. <laughs> no, you just don't have any feta because it's in, in the, the feta. It's, oh, Stop it. It's in the dressing. Oh, All right, I let's, see. let's try it, y'all. Oh, I got, I got this. Yeah, he's got that uh, balsamic, and that's good. That's what I use on the caprese salad, uh -huh. and it like is like so Baltic. good. Are we supposed to mix it together? Mm -hmm. One side to the other? Oh, that's good, y'all. Yeah, you really got to mix that dressing around, otherwise it's going to be very bland. I am going to tell you that. Mm-hmm. I was pretty bland. Now, you didn't use, you're just used, and I might do that, y'all, because all my condiments are in that dressing. All right. Next time I do this, I'm probably gonna use salt and pepper as condiments and use another dressing. It could use a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. a pinch. Yeah, I, I'm just being honest. Fixing, be honest. fixing it the way it is on the thing, I just like a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more seasoning. And I, I haven't really mixed it up well, so let me just, because when you taste the dressing, when you get a touch of the dressing, oh man. It's very flavorful. It's got like, it's well, got all the stuff. I'll knock you on the floor, right? A little stout. 
Yeah, so now I can taste the dressing. I'll be doing this again. There's another one um, I want to do. It's a chicken wrap, and it looks really good. It looks really, really good. All right, you guys that are on Optavia, if you have not downloaded that Optavia app, not the Habits of Health app, this is a different one. It's just Optavia. Ask your coach about it. It is so good, y'all. So many recipes on there. You can access your account. It's super wonderful. I love it, love it. So if you're not on it, you need to be on it. That's um, right. Yeah. Be and there or be square. That's right. And if you're not doing Optavia, but you just want a healthy, light dinner for summer, check yeah. out the description box below for all the details. Bam. All right, guys. You guys <laughs> have just a really blessed day. It's been great to get back together with him on here. For, I haven't done she this in a while. invited me back. That's right. And next <laughs> week's going to be sparse because I'm going to be out of town. Yes. So I figured I need to get up a, a cook-a-linen in green. I need to do one so they'll have it. So That's anyway. Right. All right, guys, y'all have a great just night. For That's right, just for y'all. <laughs> um, and until we get back together again, as always, y'all stay safe and you stay well, and we're, we're out. out. Watch this. Have we forgotten how to do it? <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.